Death is the fate of all humans. It's inevitable and every person must face it at some point of their life. However, in order to make the process easier for the people, each religion provides a guide to help in the transition from the human world to the afterlife. Within the religion of Asian Voodoo, this job is undertaken by the law of the dead who goes by the name of Baron Samedi and whose name means Baron Saturday in French. The Asian people believe that the first man buried in a cemetery becomes the manifestation of his guardian who is in reality the Baron an entity considered to hold knowledge of the dead and the underworld. Baron Samedi often comes into the world as a beggar with a unique presence, where he is depicted as a tall black man wearing a formal attire which includes a black tuxedo and a top hat. Along with his iconic cane, the Baron often appears with his face painted to resemble that of a skull. No wonder why in some cases he is depicted as having a skull instead of a human face. He has plugs of cotton in each nostril to represent a corpse dressed and prepared for burials in the Asian fashion. Although his clothing might indicate something else, he is a trickster who uses much of his time to engage in luscious behaviors and makes fool of those who take themselves too seriously. The Baron is represented by phallic symbols and noted for obscenities and debauchery with a particular fondness for tobacco and alcohol. In the graveyards, a cross surmounted by a black hat is often placed at the crossroads to represent the point where the mortal and the spiritual world cross each other. And this is where the Baron can usually be found, at the junction between the words of the dead and the living. There are few symbols associated with the Baron as well, and these include coffins, black goats, roosters and skeletons. Even the colors black and purple which appear in his clothing have become to be related with this powerful lore. To understand the Baron and his powers, we must first understand the religion that he was born into. The Voodoo is a monotheistic religion originated from French colonies and which is quite misunderstood. Common in Haiti and New Orleans, Voodoo brings together Catholic and African beliefs to form a unique set of rituals including dolls and symbolic drawings. The practitioners of Voodoo believe in one supreme god whom they call Bondi, but the existence of this supreme entity is beyond man's comprehension, so it does not intervene directly in human affairs and this is where the lower come into play. These are the primary spirits of Voodoo, and each one is responsible for a particular aspect of life, acting as intermediaries between humans and the supreme god Bondi. Therefore, in order to navigate through daily activities, Voodooists must cultivate personal relationships with them to have their needs met, and those relationships can be created by making offerings to a particular loa and by getting involved in elaborate ceremonies of dance, music and spiritual possessions. In summary, the loas are identical to the Orisha, the spirits from the Yoruba pantheon in West Africa. But unlike their African kindred, they are divided into three families and Baron Samedi is the lead of the Gedi family, spirits with particular connections to death, sex and carnality. Dressed just like the Baron himself, they are rude and perform dances that give the impression of a sexual intercourse but their duty is the transportation of the dead to the underworld. Although he always chases after mortal women, Baron Samedi is the husband of a powerful entity called Maman Brigitte the only voodoo deity coming from Ireland and not Africa like most of them. And just like the Baron and other spirits whom she is similar to in many ways, she became a guardian of the past, heritage and history of her people. Baron Samedi spends much of his time lingering at the crossroads between life and death, but when he ventures out of that gloomy place, he must wear sunglasses to keep his eyes away from the shining light of the sun. He frequently takes out one of the lands to see the world of the living, while the other one allows him to keep an eye on the realm of the dead. Among believers, Baron Samedi has the power to decide who should die and who can go on living. He is not just a spirit guiding the souls, but has the power of a life and death. The Baron has absolute authority to decide when a person will die, causing many to see in him a harbinger of death which is not entirely true. However, there is a flip side to his character when it comes to children, as he will always guarantee that a child lives a full life before he could meet him. 
This shows that he knows the value of life and wants the person that is leading to the afterlife to have had a complete life. There were few occasions where the Baron was believed to cure any wound or disease known to man, but he will only do so if the person is worth living. When someone dies, the Baron digs their grave and greets their soul after they have been buried, eventually take them to the underworld. Additionally, many saw Baron Samedi as the law of resurrection capable of healing those approaching death. He is strong enough to block any powerful curse, even if the person has been afflicted by some kind of black magic that could bring them to the verge of death. Which means that they will not die if the Baron refuses to dig their grave, so they are safe as long as he keeps them out of the ground. The Baron ensures that the veil between the living and the dead never gets disrupted, so he would always make sure that all corpses rot in the ground and never return as zombies to bother the living. As it represents the confluence of sexuality and death, Baron Samedi may be petitioned for helping with the conception of a child. He is also the patron of many professionals who come into contact with death on a regular basis such as grave diggers, funerary officials and mortuary workers. Therefore, anyone wishing to connect with the world of the dead have to summon the Baron, who determines whether to allow the contact between both parties or not. And in return for his actions, the Baron would expect offerings that can vary according to his mood. But he might just be happy with an abundance of black coffee, cigars and spicy rum. According to some account, the Baron has various incarnations able to perform a specific role and even have their own personalities. These personas are separate entities that have a strong link to Baron Samedi, but there are few differences between them. Baron Lacroix, or Baron of the Cross, is depicted as a sophisticated spirit of death. He offers a constant reminder to his followers about delighting in the pleasures of life before it comes to an end. Baron Lacroix is very philosophical in his perception of death and finds it both humorous and absurd. Baron Cimetière performs the duty of guardian of the cemetery, digging the graves and welcoming the deceased to the underworld. He even assures protection to the graves so that those who are buried can rest in peace. Such a dashing character, so much so that even his horses are believed to wear top hats and tuxedos. Baron Cimetier has also expensive taste, smoking the best cigars and drinking the finest liquor. Yet he's as crass as the other Gede, but with a polite man and an upper class look. Baron Criminel is the most feared among the three. He is envisioned as the very first criminal who was condemned to death. The people would call upon him when they wish for a swift judgment to be pronounced. And when a person becomes possessed by Baron Criminal, they will shout obscenities and even try to harm the surrounding people. If for whatever reason Baron Criminal gets offended during a spiritual possession, he will bite chunks of flesh out of the arms of the possessed person. In order to appease him, the people must sacrifice a black chicken by burning it alive, as the shrieking of the animal is believed to pacify the baron's cruel nature. Despite the fact that he can be rude and known for his foul language, Baron Samedi is also known to be a gentleman. He never shows any regret or guilt for his choices simply because he has nothing to worry about. The baron is the protector of the dead, but he doesn't mind taking a break from his job to have some fun every once in a while quite human-like if you ask me. Because he's a man who likes having fun, he enjoys playing tricks and can turn a dull moment into a party. There are few occasions where the Baron appeared as a mischievous trickster who likes making deals, but whatever deal was made, he always held up his end of the bargain and hated when someone backed down or break the deal he has made. Depending on the account, you might see Baron Samedi as the blasphemous head of the Gede family of Loa or as their pious and spiritual father. In my opinion, the Baron is a neutral spirit rather than a villain, but he is often seen as a negative and a moral figure in the light of the media because of a great misunderstanding of voodoo by an outside view of the religion. Even among the devotees of voodoo, the Baron is seen as a dangerous and mysterious entity but can turn into a powerful guardian if his mood changes. But because the western world considers voodoo as a dangerous form of black magic, he has been labeled as a demon and a god depending on one's view of this religion. Over so many years, many have used fear, religion and other beliefs to ensure a certain control over their people, and Baron Samedi was no exception. The Baron is an important entity in the pantheon of the Asian voodoo spirits. He welcomes the deceased to the afterlife 
protects the people from untimely death and deals with the ghosts that try to haunt the living. He is responsible for all things related to death, however, he still finds some time to enjoy his cigars and alcohol. Baron Samendian body is an undying life force and is a constant reminder to the Asian people that they should live their life to the fullest before meeting the end, unfortunately. And only there, the Baron will be waiting for their soul. This concludes today's video, so feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section. And as always, stay curious.